I just want to say fuck you to all the Confederate loving take back the South assholes that you know. Now I'm going to tell you about a time where I worked for a healthcare organization that displayed the Confederate symbol as a representation of pride. And being the only black nurse of 10, I was a little nervous to speak up about what this representation represented to me. I mean, should it matter what it makes me think of when every star and every stripe was put there out of spite? Institutional racism, bigotry, oppression, and segregation led by some of the top people of our nation, promoting a separate North from the South. But united we stand and divided we shall fall. They tried burying this ugliness. Restore the value and rebuild the truth. Call it pride and not Shame? Are there no other ways to represent pride, I say? Well, on this particular day, my white boss put me into her office since I was making such a big controversy. She said, oh no, the Confederate flag doesn't stand for hate. It stands for Southern pride. She says, I have a flag at my house too, she says, and my best friend is black too. She says she even works with the NAACP. Well, you know me, I just grinned and I said, I see these Southern white ways help perpetuate a different time and a different place. I guess the Confederacy didn't see lynching and hanging niggas from trees, burning and shooting up black churches represented hate. Now all that shit just happened yesterday, June 15, 2015, nine gunned down in a Charleston, South Carolina AME church while praying with the man who had a Confederate flag in his hand and in his heart. Now these nine souls have been taken before their time because this maniac had racial hate on his mind. And when the officers, when the officers caught up with the man who just caused all of this bloodshed was sure to let him speak his truth. No unnecessary roughness, but the opportunity to eat a Burger King meal. Now how is society expected to feel when violence is perpetuated by hate, hate perpetuated by violence? Let's not make any mistakes that the flag is to preserve their spot in history. Even today, the KKK do not hide why they stand up with pride. They still raise this symbol. They raise it nice and high. You can see it if you drive on down 95. But we, we tell our kids, don't be too black, don't be too white, hands up, look straight ahead, no unnecessary movements. Because messing with these Confederate lovers, we can still be found dead, hanging on hope, treading on fear, hands up, I can't breathe, get me up out of here, stand your ground. RICO laws, mandatory minimums, judges owning prisons, they will try everything they can to represent this flag with pride. America was not built on a lie. These truths we should not deny. It's important to remember your history. Don't let the past steal your memory, steal your hopes of doing better, having more, being the best, accepting nothing less than success. So until then, you and you, you do not get to rest. Zip up your suit, put on your marching boots and say, fuck you to all the Confederate loving take back the South assholes that you know. Thank you.